Hey guys, what's up? Josh Cooper, Just Juice Fitness, and the video I've been getting a lot of requests for is how I made my cheesecake, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you the ingredients, just gonna go ahead and get this thing rolling. What you're gonna need for this, for this recipe, all right? It's a high protein, low carb, low fat cheesecake. Two whole eggs, 12 ounces, 12 ounces of fat free cream cheese, two scoops of a vanilla protein powder, one tablespoon of a pure vanilla extract, 12 ounces of a plain Chobani Greek, Greek yogurt or Fig, whatever brand you want to use, but 12 ounces of plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. A whisk would come in handy. You can, use a, you can use anything you want to mix it up with, but I recommend using a whisk or a blender. Some stevia in the raw, I recommend this over other sweeteners or sugar. Alright, remember, we're trying to keep the calories down, trying to keep the carbs down. So, substituting all of this is going to help a lot. I recommend the whole eggs, it's not going to add a lot of fat to it, okay, and it's really going to help with the texture. And if I haven't already mentioned, two scoops of protein powder. Now, so what I'm going to do, I got my two scoops of protein powder, I'm going to throw it in my mixing bowl, make sure I get everything out of there. Okay, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, top it off, I got my cream cheese, I've let this sit overnight so that way it kind of softens up a little bit. You can put it in the oven too if you're short on time, but this package is 8 ounces so I'm actually just going to put this whole package and half of that one on in my bowl. I got my two whole eggs. Once again, I recommend whole eggs instead of using egg whites or an egg white or an egg substitute because it's going to really help with the texture and the taste. Okay, and not really add any fat at all. Now I'm just going to zero out my scale and measure out 12 ounces. If you don't have a scale, okay, guys, all you have to do is use a cup and a half. All right, that'll give you. 12 ounces, but I recommend always using a scale, especially when you're baking, because sometimes the weight, the weight of things is more important than, uh, than how, how much volume you're using when you're baking, especially with flour. Remember that, especially with flour. Always weigh your stuff. Now we're going to take one cup of this sweetener. I'm just going to mix it up, and letting the cream cheese sit is going to really help with uh, helping it get softened up so that way it mixes up better and it's not a pain and doesn't take forever to mix up. Now while you're mixing all your ingredients up, ingredients up make sure to preheat your oven to 325 mm -hmm. degrees. We're going to be baking it at that for 30 minutes. Then we're going to turn it over and we're going to bake it at, uh, at about 200 degrees for another 50 minutes. I recommend 50, 50 to 60, but when I've gone 60 I notice they dry out a lot. So here we go, I'm going to put it in my, my pan. So what I got here is a, a regular uh, pie crust pan. I put aluminum foil in there, I'm trying to keep the carbs though. You can buy a pie crust, but it's going to change the macronutrient, the carb, fat, protein count. But what I got here is a butter spray can. And right there so it doesn't stick to <laughs> <laughs> the pan, I've had a little bit of trouble with that in the past, I learned the hard way. So I'm just going to dump this in here, try and make sure you get as much of the batter in there as you can. Hey guys, here we are 30 minutes into the baking. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over the cheesecake. What I'm doing is I'm taking my stove from 325 down to 200. Right, now we're going to keep it down there for about 50 minutes. Okay, really anything longer than that, and I found that I end up drying out. Don't want to do that. So, but I'll show you what it looks like right now. Boom, I've added a couple things to it. All right, just because uh, I've had this several times, but the base ingredients are the same. Um, I just added a couple flavorings. Anyway, hey, stay tuned. I'm going to show you the end product. So here we are. It's done, finished. All right, I now mentioned that I add some stuff in there. Yes, berries, as you can see. Um, just to add a little bit something different, if you're curious about the amount of berries, a cup and a half. 
fast forward a day and I got the cheesecake now I mentioned in the video that I added a couple extra things well one extra thing and I was just I took some berries to the, the regular vanilla recipe I took the berries and put them on top and stuffed them in right before I cooked it that's all I did frozen berries that's it and here we go what I'm going to do is cut this into eight slices each slice is under 10 grams of carbs, okay? Even with the berries, it doesn't change the macros hardly at all. So if you do want to try a berry one, simply add berries. That's it. Nothing really crazy special. Now, as you can see, I'm cutting it. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. Oops. Mm. Extremely moist. Awesome recipe. So definitely add the berries if you want a little bit of moisture. And if you like berries, if you don't like berries, add bananas. Not really much to it. Here we go. Woo. So. You want to try one? You want to try the one with the berries? I mean, do you really think it matters? Could fall apart on it. I got you. You got me? Mm-hmm. Really good. good. Oh my god. <laughs> so, obviously guys, it's awesome. Make it. Try it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on. And always just choose fitness.